Hey there, I'm Johnny May from Piano with Johnny, and today I'm going to teach you O Christmas Tree in a super jazzy style, and this is a lot of fun to play. Check out what you're going to learn in this lesson. Alright, so you're going to learn a lot of great stuff in this lesson. Not only are you going to learn all of the notes for this arrangement, but I'm going to teach you how I created this arrangement. Basically, how to take a simple melody and simple chords from this song, O Christmas Tree, and how to construct bass lines and what to do with the right hand. Uh, we're going to start with the lead sheet, which is the chords and the melody. I'm going to teach that to you. And then we're going to talk about the left hand. What do you do with the left hand to create this awesome walking bass line? I'm going to show you the techniques that I use to construct bass lines like this. We're also going to talk about a technique called four on the floor, okay? This is that chunky sound that comes from the left hand. A chunk, chunk. Okay? And you can combine both of these techniques. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to look at the right hand. Okay, And the right hand, how do you take the melody of O Christmas Tree and how do you swing that melody? What are some techniques to swing it? Then how do you add harmonies to the right hand? How do you add uh, colors to make it more interesting? So we're going to talk about blocked chords. I'm going to show you how to construct these blocked chords. Then we're going to add a few new elements like slides, tremolos, and fills, basically to color the arrangement and really make it sparkle. Okay. Uh, so once we have all of these elements, then we're going to create an introduction. I'm going to show you three different ways that you can create an introduction. Uh, one is an old-timey sort of introduction. Okay, one is kind of a slow, jazzy. Okay. Uh, you're going to learn some ways to do that. We're also going to talk about how to do an outro, how to end the song. And there's a few ways of doing this. One of them is called a reharmonization. It's a beautiful way to end the tune. I'm going to show you how I did that. And then we're going to talk about soloing. How do you play an awesome solo? Here's uh, a little bit of the soloing text techniques that you'll be learning. Okay. Lots and lots of great soloistic ideas. I'm going to show you the scales that I love to use, and there's a couple scales that are really fantastic. I'll be showing those to you, and then the various techniques, the things that I think about while I'm soloing. So this lesson is jam-packed with content. Uh, like I said, not just teaching you the notes, but giving you the tools to create arrangements just like this. Now this is an intermediate advanced level lesson, so if you are more on the beginner side, I actually have a beginner intermediate immediate lesson of this song and how to play in this style, so be sure to check that out. Now in this preview course, I'm going to teach you a portion of the lesson, but if you want the full length lesson, you can get it at pianowithjohnny.com. So let's go ahead and start the lesson. All right, we're going to talk about left hand option two. This is the walking bass line, and this is going to be the primary left hand that we're going to be using. Uh, over this arrangement. It's one of my favorite things to do in jazz piano because the walking bass line just sounds like an upright bass player. Okay, I'm gonna play some walking bass lines for you. It sounds so cool and so groovy. I love walking bass lines. Um, and the goal here is to sound like an upright bass. Imagine an upright play bass player, right? He's going -dum, 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 -dum. and we're going to throw in these little grace notes. Boom, 
That's what an upright bass player would do. So we're going to talk about this, okay? So how do we uh, like walk bass lines? Well, a uh, few things in mind. Actually, before we start the bass lines, a couple notes here. Uh, we are swinging the left hand, and to swing simply means you take your eighth notes, which you normally count like this, one and two and three, right? And you swing them. You go one and two and three and four and. Basically, you take all of the ands and you make them short. Long, short, long, short, long. You see how those are short? Or one and two and three, okay? So keep this in mind. Whenever we play eighth notes in this style, we have this sort of lilting feel, long, short, long. It's called swung eighth notes, and this is represented by this marking here. We're taking two eighth notes, which are here, and now we're making them equal to this triplet figure, okay? Uh, I won't get too much into the theory here, but basically when you go long, short, you're playing this, the triplet. Triple it, triple it, but you're going triple it, triple it, triple it. Does that make sense? Don't think too much about it, but I want you to understand it's a long short relationship, okay? Um, also, when you play, uh, emulate a bass player, you want to stay in a bass range, and an upright bass usually cannot go below an E, okay? And then usually I try to stay below this E. I kind of give myself a two octave range. This is a very good range for a bass player, but you don't want to be down here. It sounds way too muddy, okay? So try to stay uh, at this E or above. The E is totally fine. I'm not saying this is too low. Just don't go too much lower. Occasionally I'll hit a D, but um, I'll try, try to avoid below that note. And then don't, try not to go above an E. That doesn't sound too bassy anymore. It kind of sounds like it's in the mid range, okay? All right, here we go. We're gonna walk some bass lines. All right, let's look at this uh, chord progression. We have F, we go to B flat. Let's see, we go to an A. Uh, we're going to go to a D, we're going to go to a G, we're going to go to a C, and we're going to go to an F. Let's just work through this progression right here. Okay, Those are the targets, F, B flat, A, D, G, C, F. Okay, um, And that's great. Um, however, we got to fill this in, right? I mean, this F is on beat one, this B flat is on beat three. Okay. One, two, three, four, one. We got a lot of space to fill. Okay. There's a couple techniques that I like to use. Now, this is not a lesson in walking bass lines. I actually have a lesson on walking bass lines if you want to learn uh, all of the ways to construct these lines. But I want to show you the way I do it on this tune, a way that I really like. Okay. So the first thing I do is I go F, A, B flat. I walk up to the B flat, but I throw in a grace note. Bum, bum, ba, bum. So you see that? One or one and two and three. And I'll do this a lot when I'm walking into the note. Bum, bum. I'll use the note I started on, bum, to go into the, the next note, which is the next chord, okay? So F, A, F, B flat. Then I go, I go, let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so bum, 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 bum. Then I, what I want to do is I'm going to go chromatically into the A. That's the lower neighbor to A. And you can do this. Bum, 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 bum. I'm sort of walking up into the A. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that F again as a little grace note. You see that? So I'm basically going bum, 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 right? G sharp, F, A. And then from here, I got to get down to a D, right? So I'm going to go bum, bum, right? This is E flat to D. This is an upper neighbor to D. But I'm going to use A as a grace note. You see how that works? Okay, now I got to get up to a G, right? So I'm going to go bum, bum. I'm going to use an upper neighbor, the G, uh, A flat into G, okay? But I'm going to go bum, 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 right? A flat, D, G. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the C, this, that's my next chord, that's down here. Well, what are we going to use? Well, let's use an upper neighbor, let's use the D flat, okay? Bum, 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 bum. You see how that works? G, D flat, G, C. And then my next chord is an F, which is here, so I'm going to go upper neighbor to F. This is the G flat. You see what I'm doing? It's actually, it's, it's a sort of pattern, right? It's very mathematical. I use a lot of upper neighbors, meaning if my target note is a G, I'll go bum, bum, 
Or if my target note is a C, I go bum bum, right? I can't sing that low. D flat C, okay? That's one of the principles of walking bass lines that I use. And then for these little grace notes, I'll normally throw in the note that I started on. Bum, 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 okay? All right, so that's the first line. F, A, F, B flat, G flat, or A flat, F, A, E flat, A, D, F sharp, D, G, D flat, G, C, G flat, C, F. Okay, and we're gonna end the phrase, bum, bum, bum. That's D flat, F, C. And then we're gonna go back to an F chord here. So we're gonna go G flat, C, F. Okay, that's the first line. And that sort of repeats itself, okay? So here's the second line we're starting here on the lesson sheet, measure 53. One and two and three. There's the B flat to A, bum, bum, bum. Okay, down to D, bum, bum, bum. Okay, up to G, bum, bum, bum. Okay, down to C, bum, bum, bum. We're using those lower neighbors, and now G flat, bum, bum, bum. Okay, now from here, we're gonna go into an A minor chord, and there's many ways of walking into notes, but one thing I like to do is I'll go bum, 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 bum. Just use the notes from the scale to walk into certain chord degrees, okay? Uh, so here we go, F, E, F, G, okay? Now, on the A, we're gonna follow a lot of the same principles that I've already taught you. A, E flat, A, D, because D is the target, okay? And then F sharp, okay, I'm gonna use a, a lower neighbor to G, okay? And then I'm gonna walk down and then up to the B flat, okay? G, F, G, A, those are just the notes from the F scale. Then B flat, Bum, 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 bum. I need to go from B flat to E flat. I'll use an upper neighbor, right? The E natural, okay? And then I need to get to A, so I'm gonna go bum, bum, bum. You see that? Bum, 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 okay? And then from the A, I'm gonna go A, D, G, C, because the chords change on every measure, right? So we'll just move, we'll just jump around. Bum, bum, G, C, right? Okay, let's do the B section again. This is starting from the A minor seven chord. So A, E flat, A, D, then upper neighbor to G, F sharp, D, G, walk down, walk up, B flat, upper neighbor to E flat. You see that? And then we're gonna go upper neighbor to A, A, D, G, C, okay? That is the bass line, and we're all pretty much done with the bass line, right? Because the last section is essentially repeating the first section, right? F, A, F, B flat, G sharp, F, A, E flat, A, D, F sharp, D, G, D flat, G, C, G flat, C, F, and then basically we're gonna go back to a C, so we're gonna go D flat, F, C, okay? And then basically, if we were to repeat the song, we'd go G flat, C, F, and that takes us back into our first chord, which is F, okay? All right, so that is the basic uh, walking bass line. I wanna take you through the whole thing now at a slow tempo, okay? I'm just gonna snap the, the basic groove. This is nice and slow. Here it is. Oh, one, two, here we go. Oh, one. the B section. One, two, three. Walk it down and up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, two, F, two, three, Four and one, okay? 
it's a pretty rad little walk-in bass line there, and it, it really works very well. There's other bass lines you could do. There's simpler bass lines. You could just do root fifth. Right? Uh, many simpler ways of doing it, but this is the way I like to play it, and this is the way I play it uh, in my uh, performances, okay? So there it is, that's the bass line, and I just encourage you to speed that up, right? Get it to a medium tempo. Three, four, boom, 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 Okay, so that's a really great um, thing to, to shoot for. Okay, so one thing you can do is uh, take this bass line and play it with the melody. Okay, this is a great way to just reinforce the bass line and just always point, you know, whatever you're learning, point it back to the melody because you always want to have, try to have the melody present. Okay, so here we go. Let's play it with the, the melody and we'll go very slowly and just kind of show it in a very simple manner. Okay, uh, melody here, left hand bass line here. Here it is. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You see how that works? Next line. One. Uh, next part, here we go to A minor. Um, here it is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the end. One, So great job uh, playing the melody with the walking bass. Okay, let's take it to the next level. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine both left hand approaches, okay? So we have left hand option one, which you learned earlier. This is the shell approach. We have the left hand option two. This is the walking bass line approach. And this is a combined approach. This is basically the way I play the tune is I sort of like to mix it up, right? I'll use walking bass most of the time, but then in the mid section, in that little B section, I'll use the uh, four on the floor shell uh, style, okay? So here we go, we're gonna start with the walking bass. I'm just gonna walk you through the combined left hand. We have one and two and three and four. One and two. This is what you just learned. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that repeats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now here, we're gonna go to the shells. One, two, three, four. You see how this works? This is root seven on the A and G. D and F sharp, right? G minor seven, two, three, four. And then B flat minor seven. One, two, it's B flat, A flat, E flat and G, three, four. And then root seven, right, doing shells, one, two, three, four, and we already learned this, okay? So you're hopefully just kind of splicing this together from what you already know, okay? Then we go back to the walking bass line. And stop, okay? So that is the, the left hand bass line that I would like you to practice. Uh, it's the way that you're 
you're going to be playing this arrangement. But again, you want to have both options. You want to be able to play both. You want to be able to play walking bass line the whole time if you'd like, or the four on the floor feel. Okay, let's go ahead and play the right hand with this combined approach. We're playing the right hand very simply right now. We're just playing quarter notes, but we're going to make that right hand more interesting here in just a few minutes. Okay, so here we go. Starting point in the right hand, uh, left hand starts on the C, on the F, okay? And here it is. We'll go really slowly. Here it is. A one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and four, and two, and three, four, one, two, three. Okay, and now we're into the shells, okay, and that G goes with the C, bum, bum, shells. Okay, B flat minor 7, and then A minor 7, D7, seven, G7, seven, C7, seven, okay, and our final line. Okay, that's a pretty slow tempo. Get really comfortable with that. And once you feel pretty solid at a slow tempo, speed it up. And I'm going to go ahead and play it now at a medium tempo. And go ahead, if you feel ready, and play along with me. Okay, here we go, medium tempo. A one, two, three, four. Very, very nice job. Make sure that is nice and solid before we get to the next part, which is swinging the right hand. All right, you are rocking and rolling. I am so excited to teach you how to swing the right hand. And right now, the right hand is, is very sort of boxy, right? If you look at a lot of lead sheets, uh, the melody, they'll, they'll write it very simply. Oh, Christmas tree, oh. <laughs> They're all quarter notes. And we, we wanna make this sound cool. We wanna swing that melody. Okay, so there are different ways to swing the melody. There's no right or wrong way, but the, the main idea behind swinging a uh, melody is you take the melody, oh Christmas tree, right? Where it goes on all the beats, and you change it. You go like this, oh Christmas tree. You see what we did there? Ba -da -ba. Okay, or you could do it like this, oh Christmas tree, right? That's another way you could do it. Or you go, Oh Christmas, um, let's see, oh Christmas tree, right? Lots of different ways of swinging the melody. But the, pr the primary idea is you move notes around, you play them early or you can play them late. And so that's what we're gonna do here. The other thing that I like to keep in mind when I'm trying to swing a melody is I just sit there and I imagine, you know, what would you know, a band, what would a big band do? If you took a big band uh, which has uh, trombones and trumpets and saxophones, um, a band like Count Basie or Duke Ellington, I, I try to imagine how they'd play it. Because a big band, they really swing it hard, right? They go, ba da ba da 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 ba da da ba and they'll sh kind of shake the notes. So that really helps give me an idea for how to swing. If you haven't checked out Count Basie or Duke Ellington, uh, those are great uh, classic big bands. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do with this melody, okay? Check out the first phrase. One. That's pretty cool. Okay, what am I doing? 
Hey, thanks for watching, and if you want the full-length lesson, you can get it at pianowithjohnny.com. And if you enjoyed this lesson, you can get many other lessons where I teach you how to play jazz, and we go over in depth a lot more of these topics. We also have lessons in blues and boogie woogie and ragtime and stride piano and funk and Latin ballads, so many different styles. Uh, we also have a huge selection of sheet music. And when you become a member at Piano with Johnny, you get access to all of the video lessons and a huge selection of sheet music. Also, our members get to interact with me every single month. We do live events. We do a live Q&A where I answer your practice questions, give you tailored feedback, and we do live workshops where uh, it's a live lesson and you can ask me questions. So it's a lot of fun. It's an incredible community of piano students that are here to help each other out and encourage each other. So be sure to check out the Piano with Johnny membership. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next course. Take it easy.